Hello everyone, and this is MakerRound's weekly news in 3D printing. Now the first bit of news is MakerBot has released a new initiative that allows schools and organisations more access to 3D printing. They call it Starter Labs. Now Starter Labs gives the schools and organisations a 3D printer, a 3D scanner, a bunch of materials and on-site custom training. Now this is obviously for a fee, however this does give a nice all-in-one package for schools and organizations to adopt. Two US schools have already adopted this and I'm sure there'll be plenty more to come. The next bit of news is Adafruit has released the Type A Series 1 3D printer in their store. The Type A Series 1 3D printer is built on a modular design. It does cost $3,000, however, for that money, you do get a printer that is hackable and modular. So it is definitely built to last, as they quote. Now they've also released a bit of news saying that there's also gonna be a Series one Pro. Now the main notable difference between the Series 1 and the Series 1 Pro is that there's going to be a dual extruder. And because they're building it on a modular design, it means that you're going to be able to go to their store and buy the dual extruder for your normal Series 1. So it's brilliant. And finally, for those who don't know, the Taz 5 is out. It's been out by the looks of it for a month and it has definitely got one of the biggest upgrades that people have been asking for. A better extruder. Now this has two fans, one for the heatsink and one for the actual nozzle. Now this allows easier printing for PLA which was definitely something that I did notice on the forums when looking at the Lulzbot Taz 5 and PLA printing. Another notable difference is the new print surface. Now this allows you to print directly onto the print bed without the need for tape or glue or hairspray and I think that this is definitely a step in the right direction. That's all for 3D printing news for this week and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Bye! Thank you.